And our designer, Karen Seeley, bought a new house. Not only did she have to renovate, have to renovate, the garden was a disaster. So she called our own Frankie Flowers for a little help. Well, right at the beginning, what's your budget? You know what's so funny? I ask clients that all the time, and I'm going to give the classic client answer. I don't know. Usually about 10% of the value of your home is what you want to budget for landscape. This is a little bit smaller of a home, so we don't have to do that. But the biggest concern I have, the back is high, the front is low, yes. and water. Exactly. And I've already had to waterproof the basement. We've been working at getting the water away from the house with downspouts, but there is a real problem here. It's really mucky. So first thing that's going to determine your budget is how we can take care of that water. Next thing that's going to determine your budget, what do you want? I want to enjoy the space in the daytime, barbecuing, you know, entertaining friends in the evening, maybe a little fire bowl, fire pit, because the whole feeling of this house is beach modern, so I want to bring that to the outdoors as well. I'll get to the design work. <laughs> I'll figure it out. How about if I brought the beach to your backyard? Yay! I love that. So here it is. It's done. It is. Way to go. Way to go. Thanks for all your help. Yeah. And you know, it's been a great project. The transformation is amazing. And I, we design this space the same way I design an interior, in zones. So we have our cooking zone, our dining zone, our lounging zone, or in other words, our entertainment zone. You got it. And you can see that also we soften the whole area by using the green living walls. But this place, it must look amazing at night. Oh my gosh, we have lights everywhere, some hidden you can't even see. And then of course we have speakers for entertaining. And then there's some more to see at the back of the yard. Let's go take a look. You okay? okay. We laid half a trailer's worth of new sod. Oh, the green looks great. You know, it's got a full irrigation system. Which was a great idea. And this is what I love. This I is love this too. future food growing area. And I wouldn't have thought to do these. These guys here, if you know you're a farmer, are. you'll know what they are. <laughs> That's a feed trough or a water trough for cattle and or horses. And fantastic. And the pea gravel here is so pretty with it. And I love the idea that when next year those are plants, I don't have to bend over and pick my tomatoes or herbs. Yeah, nice raised bed. A little cutting garden over here so you have some hydrangeas. You're going to have some peonies. You could also put some annuals down there, cosmos. That's what I would do for next year. You wanted the beach? Yay! You got the beach. <laughs> this is fantastic. So when I'm not at the cottage, I feel like I am. Which is great. And then you can and have this, that fire at night. And this area up here is for my future shed. So eventually I might need a little bit more storage. So I thought this is great, but for now it's a gaming zone. And so let's just have a little <laughs> game of croquet. I don't I, I've never played this game before. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. You really gotta uh, Do you say four? <laughs> They're going to join me right now here in studio because we want to talk about tips that you might want to follow if you're tackling your own garden project right now. And what I love is that you brought that ugly yard onto our show <laughs> <laughs> because I did that a few years ago and the viewers actually wrote and they're like, that's not your backyard. It's like, no, no, no. It, it looks like the place where things go to die. Yes. And, and what's awesome is that you're a designer. So we love seeing the ugly. We're all in this situation where, yes. you know, we don't have perfect houses. Um, so it's nice to know that you can do a makeover like that. When I saw the after, I thought, whose house is that? Oh my gosh. It's completely transformed. Yeah. Frankie, great job. You know, overall, the team, there was a lot of people involved. Of course. And with that, you know, it can be intimidating for people. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes once you even just pull the weeds out, you get in there and you take a look at the foundation of it, it can, any space can be a great space yeah. with a little bit of planning and a whole lot of sweat. Totally. Yes, a, a lot, lot of, of sweat. sweat. <laughs> and I mean, we had all of my designers there. We yeah. were painting, rolling out sod, because we did it in such a short period of time. How long? Um, three it was weeks. Three to four oh, weeks. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, I that's mean, we had speedy. a lot of people. Um, and I okay. mean, as Frankie had said, there was a real drainage problem in the backyard. Like, we added 16 yards of soil just in that one section oh my gosh. to help with drainage. Like, we did a lot of things you didn't see. Yeah, the foundation. And, you know, when you're starting out, I know we want to talk to people. Yeah. That's the first thing. When it comes to designing a space it's getting to know okay what drainage issues do i have mm -hmm. what are some of the future uses well i have to run some conduit maybe i want to do some electrical that foundation is kind of step one and that'll determine as we were saying the budget yes. permitting becomes step two yeah and yes. i mean one of the issues i had in the house itself there was a river in, like running when i bought the house yeah. i knew this full well Literally, when it rained, there was a river that came through the backyard and into my house uh -oh. and down the drain. So, so when fixing the outside drainage, it was also fixing my, you know, my water issue around the house. So I was protecting my investment. Yeah. Because I'm renovating the house right now too. So it's really important to deal with outside water. Very smart. And the other part too, when you renovate the inside of the house, the yeah. outside of the house is usually the afterthought. 
So as a landscaper, you go yeah. up, you always ask people, what's your budget? And they're like, I ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> there is no budget. Yeah. 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 And you need to plan for that. Yeah. If you are, you know, doing a project and it's the inside and outside, yeah. you know, a landscape can be very costly very quickly. What yes. can you do right now? Because uh, people are thinking, ah, we're heading into fall. Is there stuff you can do for your garden right now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, one of the big things Frankie said is let's clean up the backyard. Yeah. And then once you cleaned it up too, you have a whole new look at it. So getting all that garbage and all of that tr the trees and the weeds and everything, just pulling everything out made a big difference. Right. Yeah, and fall is one of the best planting seasons. So, you know, if you're thinking it's too late, it's actually the ideal time to do a lot of landscape projects. Uh, so you can book a landscaper. Many times they're um, weeks and months they're booked out. So it's sometimes mm. hard to find the good ones. Yes. yes. Um, but there are so many things you can do at this current moment to make your garden glory. Well, let's and talk permits. about all of the things. Well, okay, let's talk about permits. I mean, permits can take a while, them. and you want to have your permits in place and pick your material selections so that when your contractor is giving you a quote, it's real, yeah. and then you can plan for first thing in the spring. Yeah, so that's your deck, that's your fence. If you're doing right. a pool, those are things. If you're just tearing out a garden, you don't need a permit. Yeah. But if you're removing a tree in some areas, you will need to check with your bylaw. Absolutely. Yeah. What did you do to save some money? Were there things that you put in there that yeah. helped? A whole bunch. Okay, good. Because <laughs> the inside renovation has been very expensive. Yeah. So one of the big things is, obviously, it's a huge backyard for, you know, a, a city home. Yeah. Um, so we put down sod, which is a, goes down quickly. It looks amazing. And we put in the irrigation system, which the nice thing about that, again, it's protecting my investment. Mm -hmm. So by putting in, a, you know, it's a Wi-Fi enabled. And, and actually, Frankie has a... Yeah. So a, this is... Uh, just, to show. So a lot of these smart irrigation systems right now actually monitor weather stations so mm -hmm. what they'll do is they'll look at your soil type your elevation your plant material and when is it raining and they'll alter all your watering towards that so saving you water over the long term and saving you money over the long term and saving right. me hassle like yeah. I don't have to think about watering I, even my planters with that beautiful living wall green ivy and and the planters where my tomatoes are gonna go next year like yeah. all of that has irrigation too so if you travel a lot you're really busy you don't have to worry too much and you still that's get your taken beautiful, care of and, beautiful we, garden. and we save some plants too so there's well, some we existing oh, plant material good. there yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was a I couldn't tell yeah. that there were <laughs> well, plants you know what? to save. They were hidden. They, they, they were, were hidden. hidden. There was some it peonies. It was like a meadow. Oh, yeah. yeah, there was peonies hidden. There was oh, a, a nice rose nice. of Sharon that was hidden in there. Yeah. There were some lilacs in the back that were hidden. And all of a sudden, you're like, hey, little friend. <laughs> <laughs> you're staying. I yeah. see you. Yeah. 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 And we actually even designed like the planter boxes and some things around saving some of the trees so we didn't have to replant them. Okay. So we took that into account right off the top. And another cost saver is I love outdoor music. I mean, anybody who knows me knows She's I like to have some fun. She's a party girl. That's yeah. why I love you. So this this triad speaker, the thing I love about it, normally landscape speakers, you need lots of them. Mm -hmm. But this one has a really wide disbursement. So you actually only need a few. And because it's pointed in a direction, your neighbors won't mind if you're having a little music in the backyard. And that's always good. Just invite your neighbors over. <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. You're all invited. Yay. Leave us alone. Exactly. Don't call the, the party, police. Would you? Please don't. <laughs>